JUNE IS NATIONAL SAFETY MONTH, AND FOR OUR CHILDREN, SAFE KIDS WORLDWIDE SAYS EVERY DAY THERE ARE MORE THAN 1,100 CALLS TO POISON CENTERS ABOUT A YOUNG CHILD GETTING EITHER TOO MUCH MEDICINE OR GETTING NOT ENOUGH MEDICINE AT ALL. AND KSN TEAM NEWS MORNING ANCHOR BRITTANY MOORE SPOKE WITH LOCAL EXPERTS ON HOW TO KEEP YOUR CHILD OUT OF THE MEDICINE CABINET. Promoting curiosity in our kids is a good thing, but experts stress doing it in a safe way. And curiosity for medications is a serious problem. It is absolutely a problem. Um, it is a very common thing for um, children to get into medications um, that aren't intended for them or just, you know, take too many of something that was intended for them. Many medications look just like candy. You can see here how so many different medications look just like candy and it's, sometimes it's even hard for adults to tell what is what on those. It's really important that we never refer to medication as candy. Sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll say things to try to get kids to go ahead and take their medicine, but we should never refer to it as candy because we don't want to encourage that. It's important to store medicine in a safe location that only you will find. Some of the common culprits we find um, that people don't typically think about are nightstands. Uh, when medications are kept on or in nightstands, and also purses and bags. Vitamins, eye drops, and diaper remedies are also common for kids to get into. Safe Kids Shawnee County recommends having the poison control phone number on hand at all times. It's 1 800 222 1222, or you can text the word poison to 484848. But medication safety is not just for our younger children. Teresa says adults should model good behavior for teens to follow as well. Kids will naturally do what we do rather than what we tell them to do. So if we um, read the medication label every time, follow the instructions when we take medication, um, they'll be more likely to do that. And to avoid any accidental overdoses, Teresa also recommends that you closely follow the dosage recommendations and relay any medication instructions to temporary caregivers. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.